hashtag KZN Arts Alive, hashtag KZN Arts and Culture. We're going to sit together a Africa month whereby we introduce some artists like Kumbuso Kosa, a TV visual concert whereby it's a sad uh, The world is a chaos. We're facing a pandemic and we felt to to as a case in arts and culture, we should bring you the things that you, you should know about uh, dragging in the form of social media, form of uh, visual concerts and stuff. Um, we do have <sighs> he has traveled abroad, France, Portugal. Um, again, he's a good guy. Siabonga Kulu and Murela, the two Valley Elin Lazi Fede. Ah, Clabenje singing a glow new double put. Um, Kalanjan was a yazu to a new moon who's deeply rooted in a culture. I mean, yes. you perform around the world, like I've said earlier on. Yes. Um, what does it mean? We should take Nigua and Aguba um Africa, especially in the changing times in the modern world. Um, I mean, with the challenges of the evolution. Mm. Uh, I think being an African means we need to dig deeper in, in, in so that we are able to ascribe value uh, being well informed mm. in our cultures. Mm. Uh, they say uh, e evolution e is a process whereby different kinds of uh, living organisms are believed to have developed from their earlier forms. Mm. And then, but there are different kinds of these evolution. Mm. You have a divergent uh, uh, evolution which is resembled by a quicker or a drastic change uh, yeah. where people they had to leave a shoe and they were fagamasuti culture. What is the distinction between history, culture, and heritage? History comes in as an intervention to record, document history. Then later, culture is born. But certain culture are not are, are unable to be practiced. Amape shugashi saswas gabanda was every day. What do we call it? Heritage. So now. And then later, it's going to traditions. So if we were to sit down as communities, the awareness about the importance of the formation of your identity, I think the social cohesion, the culture, I will have more effect. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the entire world, yeah. I mean, things probably will never be the same from yeah, here onwards. I want you to know how it um, yes, by the way, we're uh, wearing our mask and we're yes. keeping social distance. It's just that we're talking for now. Yes. Um, also, uh, lastly, your take. Yes. What is your comment and what has COVID-19 impacted Mpilu Nyako as the artist? I think uh, he, uh, some of the things are for the best because we're going to see real artists, we're going to see real writers, mm -hmm. uh, not populists, mm -hmm. uh, because we need practical solutions. However, it's going to take... I mean, some lives, but we're hoping for the best. And I'm an artist, the advice they need to have to develop tools. They need to go back to school. Even if you, you read books, acquire more knowledge. I think those are the things that will help us because we need more public speakers around the issues of heritage and culture. So I think those are the things maybe they need to, to look at. Mm. Without, without any further ado, let me, let me just not even disturb what's about to happen right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and also a message you would say, please keep your social distance, wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands, at least for 20 yes. seconds. Do what you need to do to stay safe and keep safe, my Africa. Um, also, Department of Arts and Culture, 